Yeah, I really hate LA. I got a lot of beautiful friends down there, great people. Like, you know, I don't despise them. Well, I kind of despise, oh, let's just be honest. I despise Los Angeles, but like, I, you know, I don't want it to get nuked. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe. To Wando, who shot? Why was it so important for you to write an anthem for the Quakes? Every, every place should play ACDC. I get it. But like, if you're gonna have a, a song for when a, a goal is scored or whatever, do something better than Beyonce. The Earthquakes are this punk rock team. Hello, you know, Rancid, hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm right here, duh. I love this team. No matter how much the office changes for the Earthquakes, or how much the players change or whatever it is, I'm always gonna be an Earthquakes fan, right? So, I'm going to do this, do you want to do it? And they were like, yes, let's do it. Why do you feel this sense of ownership over the soccer team that you might not feel over another sports team? I think it's because of that's where I'm from, and it's, and it's, uh, you know, it's like a neighborhood thing. You find a sense of identity through the team. It's a connection, it's something that you've shared over many years or just a few. But you go there and it's a chance to catch up. And it's your team, it's your, it's, your, it's your manner, so to speak. So there's another big MLS fan in your band, Brandon Steinker, yes. the drummer, big Real Salt Lake fan. Yes. How does that he go? wrote their anthem. So how does that work when you guys are on the road and you're trying to follow your teams? How, what's the banter like between you guys? Oh, there's always talk, you know what I mean? But, you know, and it's, it gets pretty heated sometimes, especially if we're playing with each other. I know it's as sensitive to him as it is to me. So I think we kind of mutually respect each other. He's, he's a Utah born and bred, straight up, white trash, so respect. And he's, he's the best drummer that I've ever played in front of. So how did you sort of infuse the spirit of the team into that song? I just started to talk a lot of smack. <laughs> you know, I said, this is not New York, this is not LA. You know, I, I wanted to kind of surmise what San Jose is. It's a real working class place to be from. I wanted to just kind of make a statement, like we're not one of these you know, rich teams. This is what it's like here. This is our thing. Players come and go. I'll always be from San Jose Bay Area. That will always be my team. So whoever walks through that door is gonna have my full support. Once you leave and start playing on another team, like Landon Donovan, I'll throw rocks at you when you get a chance. Well, he's retired, so you'd have well, to I'll find him in San Diego, where he lives. Well, fine. <laughs> Give me his address. <laughs> Hi, Landon. Pow. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. We're kidding. We love you, Landon. No, I mean, he brought us, you know, a couple cups. Little, you know, he got, got some love from there. But once you join L.A., forget about it. Like, you know, that's kind of like, you know, kicking you in the nuts. <laughs>